Okay, today I'm going to be talking about the TNA Impact video game because I've seen and heard a lot of reviews on YouTube and other sites that people have been knocking it, praising it and basically I just want to give my input on it. Um, it's dropped down in price recently so if you see it for a particular price I'm pretty sure you should pick it up because it is an okay wrestling game, it's not fantastic but it is, it is pretty fun. Uh, the good things about it are the control scheme is very user friendly uh, it's very simple Y is your grab button X is your uh, punch button or kick button, attack button of some sort uh, B does actions, this kind of causes a problem though because that tends to do stuff like pins, climb turnbuckles and go outside the ring as well as pick up weapons so it does too much and you may end up doing things you don't wish to do so that might be able to be fixed if there is a sequel um, so there is like there are these reminders in these game in the game that make you think of the good games in the past like No Mercy or Day of Reckoning but at the end of the day there's just not enough in it um, many have complained about the uh, superstars in the game but apart from a select few they have pretty much got all the male wrestlers from TNA in it um, just really the knockouts that are missing but other than that I, I was pleased with the the roster of superstars uh, the ultimate X match is really fun if you have friends around so you should really consider be playing that it may be worth the price if you have friends you could play with they're into wrestling or even if they're not it is really is a fun game but that is the only gimmick match in the game which is disappointing uh, one of the things it does do better than the Smackdown series is that the sound effects do sound like you are slamming a suplex or doing any power move they really do sound like they are meant to and the graphics you know you can't fault the graphics the graphics are fantastic but um, that's pretty much all the good things that it offers um, the bad things about the game is that once you played one match then you play another match there's no difference at all there's there's no real replay value once you complete the story and unlocked all the characters there are there's no title belts there's no season mode the create wrestler is just average there's hardly any match types ultimate x is the only gimmick match and the other matches in the game like falls count anywhere that would just be an added stipulation to a smackdown game match so not very much choice there uh, the AI tends to be very cheap and I feel in story I had to be as cheap as them especially in the matches later on with Jeff Jarrett and Kurt Angle they like continuously kick and keep you in a corner and knock you down again when you get up knock you straight back down and I feel like the only way I could get through the matches was to do exactly the same back but um, yeah the AI could definitely be improved for a next game there's hardly any moves in the game so all the matches that you play you're going to be having to repeat a lot of the moves and you'll eventually you'll be thinking, you know, they scan so many, and yet there's r uh, very little moves in the game, which is disappointing because a company like TNA they they pride themselves on great wrestling, and yet on the game it, it's kind of, you know, to see them so many moves repeated, it's just, it just makes you think it's really boring to do. And once you play one match, you pretty much played them all. Um, I have played the online mode, it's an occasional lag and sometimes it will not load the match, it will take you straight back to the lobby which is disappointing and um, I've also, I have the Xbox 360 version, I pre-ordered it from game, I got two bonus DVDs with it which kind of makes it worth the price when I pre-ordered it and the downloadable content which I got was uh, 100 points for Petey Williams and Curryman and Mike Tanay was free of charge so they were doing nice ads to the game but they're not going to be anything worthwhile at the end it was glitched at first uh, I think uh, Pete Williams had the model of Senshi and the entrance of AJ Styles and Curran Man had Christopher Daniels entrance but he had his own model in the game so that was well still it's disappointing at first but yeah he got it re-downloaded for free and it was okay but yeah that's pretty much it um, I would definitely avoid paying full price for this game but I doubt it will be at that price if you ever see it for something like 1999 in the UK or whatever that would be in dollars then I think it's worth picking up because you might have one or maybe two good nights with it but eventually it's just going to go back on your shelf so 
it's really up to you if you wanted to buy this game but avoid paying as much try and pay as little as you can for it because this game is a good start but definitely needs improving and it's it's nowhere near as bad as some people say but it's not the greatest in the world okay thanks for watching i give it around 7 out of 10 let me know if you wish me to review anything in the future because i will happily do it for you i'd like to wish everyone a merry christmas and a happy new year thank you